Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. As we all know with ID Software 3.0 in Volkswagen ID3, ID4 and ID5, well they never had a different software, um, the charging curve should be different, they improved the charging curve. I tested the uh, ID3 Pure with the smallest battery, 45 kilowatt hour usable energy, uh, a few months ago and it had a peak of 118 which was better than uh, my old which is still better than my old ID3 uh, Walter with the middle battery 58 kilowatt hour because it still hasn't the update and and this car didn't have the new software 3.0 but the control unit that needs to be updated for better charging was already up to date then I got an ID3 with the same battery than Walter but with software 3.0 so it had everything updated I made a charging comparison which you can see here and uh, um, it's not a big difference just in the, the beginning to 30 percent the new curve it goes up to 134 kilowatt but then uh, at 30 percent they meet the same way as it did before so it's not a big advantage it was two minutes from 10 to 80 percent or something when you from uh, when you start very low so it's okay it's better than nothing but uh this weekend i was so lucky uh, first i was invited to the id5 media drive which happened i don't know 10 days ago or so and then i asked can i have an id5 you know at home to do a real thing and they said yes and so i got it for two days it was already picked up i'm sad um, and I did a range test with 130 kilometers an hour. A video is also here. And then um, I did a charging test. I arrived with 4%. Battery was warm. As again, it was warm temperature, 16 degrees. And I drove with 130. So the battery was warm enough. And I did a charging curve on the, on the ID5 with the 77 kilowatt hour battery. And so. I could see how the new charging curve is and this is how ID4 and ID3 Pro S will get it with the new battery and I want to show you the curve and then compare it to the old curve because in September of 2020 a long time ago I tested an ID3 Pro S charging curve and it's the same as in the ID4 it's the same battery but let's look at the chart here we have it we have charging power in kilowatt here and in relation to state of charge in percent and I started at 4% and went up to 135 kilowatt right away peak is 142 and as you can see it stays pretty good I mean even here goes up and down a bit 123 and then up and is above 100 kilowatt till 75% and then at 77 it goes down dramatically and after 82 percent it's not usable anymore even at 87 we have 36 kilowatt and then it stays at around 35 to 30 kilowatt i charge to 95 percent but now let's compare it to the old charging curve here we have it in blue is 2.3 from the beginning to 2.3 and and 3.0 3 is now this and as you can see the charging curve is above the whole time until what is that 30 where are we 32 33 percent until then it's way higher i mean here it's 127 kilowatt hits 85 and here 66 kilowatt up here what do we have 113 it's 50 kilowatt more it's just amazing charging curve they did very well i applaud this is a charging curve there before when I, I i drove an id4 id3 pro s i was yeah it's a bit faster charging but the curve is exactly the same just 20 kilowatt higher but you have a bigger battery so it, the charging takes the same time um, so the only advantage is more range but you have more weight so a bit higher consumption and I didn't like uh, in the ID3 Pro S that the region is the same but the car is heavier so region feels less and in the corner too because of the weight and I was yeah I don't know if I need the big battery but with this charging curve it's just way better and, and high and stays high this is almost almost uh, Audi e-tron level where you have 150 and then 100 kilowatt up to 80 90 percent this is 
awesome. This is an awesome charging curve and you can see that even with the range. This is range edit. I took the I took an ID4 uh, in the summer range test uh, with uh, 194 uh, watt hours per kilometer at 130 kilometers an hour. I did a range test last year in the summer with perfect condition. So it's the the best conditions you can have. But if this car um, would gotten uh, the update, then you can see the difference in range added over time. So range is here, of course, in, in kilometers. As you can see, for example, here at after 30 minutes, old curve 269 kilometers added, new, new curve 312. What is that? That's 43 kilometers more in the same time. That's a big deal. Um, and you can see it's always above here here they get a bit closer but this is uh, above 80 90 percent uh, because 40 minutes that's it's already past past 80 percent that's is just awesome and another thing i've seen which is amazing i brought it down here from 10 to 80 percent on both uh, both cars i started at around four to six percent um, with the old software it took 34 minutes from 10 to 80 percent now 26 that's eight minutes difference that's a lot of time eight minutes i mean in in, in this relation what is it eight minutes out of 25 uh, percent uh, uh more time i'm not good with math <laughs> but it's just awesome eight minutes faster from 10 to 80 percent if you start of course under under 10 percent i th i don't know if the charging curve is the same as it now is with id cars when you start at 20 percent that you don't get uh, the full charging power and it's not very good you always have to be under 15 percent around that i don't know if it's that still the same we'll see with the update um if, if we charge a bit more but again this is an amazing improvement i applaud volkswagen they did well um i would have loved if they would have could have done that the same with the middle battery <laughs> so if it would have been high on 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 the on the whole charging curve but uh um there's always a, a balance between what you can do and how much the battery uh, uh, is being damaged by high power charging and they, i know that they always go the conservative ways or the battery is fine um but again this is awesome i'm very pleased with this uh um development for for the big battery cars that you guys or gals have out there you should be very happy to receive uh, an over-the-air update 3.0 whenever it will come. Now I'm getting <laughs> mean again. <laughs> it will take some time. But this will be a lot, uh, a great improvement. And by the way, if you want to see what will come in 3.1, I've already tested that too. You can see it here also. It's uh, also great things are coming. But... That's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.